Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Fizz here. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to get these simple white icons on your taskbar. And you can make these any color. You can make your own icons in Photoshop, whatever you wanna do. It's super simple. I'm also gonna be showing you how to center these icons as well as create this kind of minimal look that we have. I actually prefer this look a lot over the default Windows one because it just makes my productivity feel so much better. It just gives me like a very clean kind of feeling. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're going to create a new document and the icons have to be in the format of a square and then I'm gonna change it to transparent. You can just copy my settings right here. And I'm gonna hit create. All right, so I've already made a pack for you guys if you would like to use it. It has these basic icons. I will link it in the description and if you guys have any suggestions on what to add please let me know and I will consistently update the drive throughout these couple of weeks and maybe I'll do some recolors change these colors to whatever you guys want and they're actually super simple to make so let's get right into it. So I have my document open and then I'm going to open up a browser of my choice. I use Opera GX. It's super clean and I just enjoy it a lot and I'm going to type in flat icon. Flat Icon is a website that offers so many free icons. And one icon that I need to make for myself right now is Adobe After Effects. So I'm gonna search up After Effects and I'm going to find one that I like. So I think I kind of like this one. It's just super simple. And I will just download the SVG. X this and I'm just gonna hit free download. All right, now, once you've downloaded your SVG, it should show up wherever you have it. Just drag it onto your Photoshop, and there we go. So that's our icon right there, but I want to personalize this somewhat. So I'm going to drag it to the middle a little bit, and I want the icon to be white. So just to make it easier for you guys to see, I'm going to drag this here, and I'm going to hit Control U and change the lightness all the way up. Now what I'm also gonna do is I want to make it match the Photoshop icon that I have. So I'm just going to drag a box using my marquee tool and I'm going to hit layer via copy. All right, so now I just have the AE text, but I don't like this. So I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to click my rectangle tool and I'm just going to drag out a rectangle. Then I'm going to go into my properties. I'm going to make sure that it has the same width, same height, 300 and 300. And then I'm going to change the color of the solid to white because that's the theme we're going with here. I'm going to make sure these are linked by clicking this icon. So that way, when I hit control T and drag it out, it just drags uh, proportionate to what I have it. I'm going to drag it out a little bit more. And then I'm just going to hit the move tool. I'm also going to make these kind of rounded corners to match the vibe that I have going on with Photoshop right now. Okay, I like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the AE text that I have. And you can't see it right now, but it is there. And then I'm going to hit control and click on the layers thumbnail. So now we see that text kind of shining through. But before I do this, I feel like it's a little off. So I'm just going to make sure that it is centered by hitting control A and then repositioning it. There we go. So now I'm going to click the rectangle again, click the layer thumbnail, then make it not visible. Make sure you are on the rectangle layer, rasterize the layer, and then hit delete. And now we have our AE icon. So now I'm going to close the solid fill, and I'm going to go to file, export, and in whatever folder I want, so I'm going to go to the pack that I've made for you guys, and I'm going to call this after effects large. This is just a placeholder. And then I'm going to go to here. I'm going to search up ICO convert. So once I'm in ICO convert, I'm gonna choose my file, After Effects large, upload, and then you have to crop it. You can't see it here right now, but I'm going to drag this all the way up and drag that down. So now we have width 500, height 500. All right, now you're just gonna select this style. Um, you can select whatever style you like. I think this is just really consistent. And then you're going to click ICO. You're going to make sure that's selected. And then you're going to check all these sizes so that way you can fit whatever need you have. All right, so then I'm going to hit convert ICO. Download your icon. I'm going to open up the folder that I downloaded and I'm just going to drag that here. I'm going to click my download and drag that into my file manager. Now I can delete the original After Effects icon and just have this here and I'm going to rename it to after effects and then what i can do is once i have after effects 
you're going to right click whatever icon you want to change then right click it again properties and then once you're in properties you change the icon and you just simply navigate to whatever or wherever your icon is cancel i'm just going to cancel because i already have the icon but you're going to hit apply and then you're going to hit ok and it should take about a minute or two to register all right so now let me show you how to make these icons centered so let me just go here so i have a cleaner screen so i'm going to drag this back to where it originally was so search so search icon toolbars links all right so this is how it should normally look it has the cortana button too so you're just going to right click unselect that go to search hidden so you don't really want anything on your taskbar and then i'm going to uncheck lock all taskbars i'm going to toolbars links all right so this is the important part you're going to take this little slider here and you're going to drag it all the way you can so I don't know why that stopped, but you're gonna drag that here. And then you're gonna take this one and you're gonna, it's not gonna drag at first, but you're gonna try to drag it all the way you can and it should move. Why is it moving? Oh, it's cause this reset. So I'm gonna drag that back here. And that's really important because if you don't have this in one area, it won't move it to the middle. So I'm going to drag this all the way that I can and I'm just gonna center it uh, to the best that I can. And then once I have it where I want to, I'm just going to right click on the links text and where it says show text and show title, I'm going to uncheck show title. And now I can simply just lock all taskbars. And now we have our icons in the center you, can, you can't really drag them because they're locked right now, but that's super simple. All right, let me show you how to change the color as well real quick. So I'm going to right click taskbar settings. All right, what I'm going to do is. I'm going to click the changing taskbar color. So you can either come here or you can just go back into your taskbar uh, thing, the, the folder, and you can click colors. All right, so here's how it normally looks with the transparency. It of course matches with the wallpaper that I have right now, but I don't like that. So I'm gonna go to settings and I'm gonna turn off transparency effects. And now, I can change it to whatever color I want. So right now I have it on dark theme. If we change it to light theme, this is how it looks. Doesn't look that great. I'm not a fan of it. So I'm gonna change it back to dark. And if you want to change the color to some custom color, you just simply check show accent color on the following surfaces. I'm gonna change that to the start menu and I can change the color to whatever I want. And it just, it just sets right like that that's super easy to do you can change it to whatever color you want i don't believe you can add your own hex codes and it's sort of odd because even if you select this light color it still darkens itself so i personally just like to stick with the uh the dark um the dark color by unchecking this box and it just creates a really nice theme you can change the color of these uh little like things down there i'm not sure what to call them and yeah that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, follow my socials, and if you have any questions, please just let me know. And like I said, I have that folder for you guys in the link in the description. Just click that and download whatever you need. If you have any suggestions on what I should add to it, please feel free to let me know. Thank you guys for watching and have a great rest of your day. Peace.